How can we stop this ridiculous slow play? Like, what can be done about it? Like, so many of you on Twitter are in a feud about this. And finally, we get a reaction from the man himself, Patrick Cantley, to the harsh criticism that Brooks Kepka said following the final round of the Masters. And this is, well, maybe justifying his reaction. But there's one thing here where... Oh, I and mean, it's just unexplainable. So we're going to go through this whole story, guys. Now, if you do enjoy all these breaking news stories, do subscribe to the channel and turn the bell. Then whenever we upload a video, you will get notified first. So let's bring you up to speed. John Ram won the Masters. What an impressive round. But following the round, Brooks Kepka shot a 75. Now, he finished in second place and probably wasn't the round that he wanted. But following the round, he was quoted on saying this. Yet, yeah, the group in front was brutally slow. John went to the bathroom like seven times during the round, and we were still waiting. Still waiting. What do you think the real cause of slow play is? Like, let's go at your golf club and on tour. Let's do this as a general thing. Is it aim point? So taking too much care on reading the putt? Do people take golf too seriously? Now, I know that could be hard when you're playing for a lot of money. Um, you probably are going to take it seriously, but in a general term. Is it the fact that the golf courses on tour have so many people, the logistics, the size of the property, it just means it's going to be slow? What do you think the actual reason is for this? Now, so many of you are on Twitter, and I can't wait to read out some of your responses, but overwhelmingly, even though Victor Hovland is notoriously known as a player that does aim point, so that's where you sort of read the green with your feet straddling the line and use your fingers to judge how much the borrow is, either right to left or left to right. It seems that everybody was aiming their criticism towards Patrick Cantley for this exact reason. So if you look at this, right, the 13th green, there is images surfacing here of... Victor Hovland playing his chip shot onto the green. Now, bear in mind, this is a par five. And Patrick Cantley is about 60 yards back down the fairway, the other side of the creek. Now, in my mind, right, whenever I play in a two ball, we tend to walk onto the green together. Unless the guys have to take a drop or do other things. I don't get how you can be that far behind. Because in my opinion, right, you could be a slow player, negate that by walking quickly. But if you're a slow player and... And I repeat, walk slow, that is a double whammy. Now, we're going to get into this reaction in a second, but I want to read out some of these. So first one, right? <laughs> this is quite funny, really. Um, Colin Montgomery was a big one here. He, he is a big reaction and followed up with that with going to the zoo and taking a picture of a tortoise and saying that was uh, Patrick Cantley. Good banter. Good banter. Um, also, Twitter Alice, he was posting this video saying it's ridiculous that... Victor Holland can be chipping onto the green. And, and, Patrick Cantley's halfway down the fairway. Other ones I want to read out here is just from normal golfers. This is quite a funny one, really. Interviewer, can you explain the gap in your CV? Me, I was watching Patrick Cantley line up a putt. Other ones here are from Alex. He said, Patrick Cantley taps in an 18 for four hours and 50 minutes after teed up playing in a pair. Would genuinely love an explanation on what you have to do to be penalised for slow play. Dead, set, embarrassing. It is true. How often, or actually, I should say, how little do we see the PGA Tour make an example of slow play? We don't. And I'd say that's probably the same on the DP World Tour too. The other ones here from Callum, he said, Tortoise can play quicker than Patrick Cantley. Slow is an understatement. And another one from Jake Weaver. I have rarely seen golf Twitter as much in agreement as this about Patrick Cantley's pace of play. Golf fans are ready for slow play penalties to be given at PJ Tour, USGA and RNA. It's your move. It's not fair for those playing behind slow players to see their games fall. Well, I'm certainly glad that thing of golf community learned today that Patrick Cantley sucks. Four hours, 50 minutes for a twosome. I would literally quit golf if I had to play every round behind him. Now, do you think that's a little bit harsh? I don't. I don't think there's any problem with saying this. I, I do think the governing bodies say they're going to react to this and say they're going to put stringent measures and fine players. But how often do they actually do it? 
Has anybody got more information on that for us? If you do, we would love to hear. Golf Back Nine Films would love to hear if you have some information on that. So do get down in the comments. Okay, so let's get into what Patrick Cantley said in response to this. Because I want to hear both sides of the story. Because it's the best way of getting the breaking news. Now, guys, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, Patrick Cantley said, We finished the first hole and the group in front of us were on the second tee. When we walked up to the second tee, we waited all day on pretty much every shot. Now, this is uh, during a statement at this week's RBC Heritage, which is an elevator event. Now, another went on further to say, it was also waiting in the 15th fairway and waiting in the 18th fairway. I imagine it was slow for everyone. Was that the case? It's not what we saw on TV, but again, we only see limited images. We only see limited images. So maybe, maybe it was just slow in general. Now, this is where we go a little bit more into this. He went this. One thing that is very interesting, sitting on the PAC, the Players Advisory Council, is that you get the numbers and the data and the rounds have taken the same length for the last 10 or 20 years as they currently take. He also went on further to say, and maybe this is a little bit of justification here in reaction to Brooks Kepka. When you play a golf course like Augusta National, where the whole locations are on lots of slopes and the greens are really fast, it's just going to take longer and longer to hole out. Okay, I agree with that slightly. I actually do really agree with that. Um, I can imagine playing a really tough golf course. It is generally going to take a little bit longer. I think we may have attributed to some of the slow play on Sunday. But then also, the wind is gusting and the wind is blowing and maybe inconsistently. That's when guys take a long time too. I think it's just the nature of playing professional golf where every shot matters. So I do have some slight sympathy for him here. I've never played golf to a point where, I mean, we see it, don't we? Commentators say he holds this putt, it's worth $200,000. Imagine that, by the way. Whoa, that is a lot of money. So you can see why, as the money's got bigger, the care of each shot has got longer. There is more care going into it. I get it, because it's worth so much money. But there has to be something to do. There has to be something done on this. I'm with Twitter here. The USGA, the RNA, the PJ Tour, the DP World Tour have to be stricter on this. We have to actually look at this on a point of view of maybe have one warning, then fine, or even no warnings. You do, you get slow, that's it, you're done. Let me know what you think on this. This is a breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. I do hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, please do subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss a breaking news story.